Okay, so what I'm going to do first is express it as a composition of two functions. Okay, so I'm going to write this as f composed with uh, g of x equals the square root of x squared plus 1. Okay, so color coding it, you can see, you can basically see that um, you have two functions there. Can you guys see the different colors? Okay, from my angle right here, I can see this one. Alright, now, so what I'm going to do, let's separate the two functions, I'm going to decompose it. We have an outer function and an inner function. The outer function is um, f, so we have f, f of x is the square root of x. Okay, and then the inner function, um, g of x, is what? x squared plus 1. Okay, now let's um, label them. This is our alpha. The alpha function is, um, what kind of function is this? This is a radical function. Okay. And then on the inner, on the inner we have, what do we have? We have a, a quadratic, right? This is a quadratic function. Oh, it's not. It's supposed to be inner, and this is quadratic. Because it's a second degree function. All right, so to find, uh, to compose it in reverse order, we need to find uh, g composed with f of x, okay? So the outer function becomes the inner function, and the inner function becomes the outer function. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start by writing down what my inner function is. My inner function is x squared plus 1, and then I'm going to get it prepped, okay? Let's get the inner function prepped. We're going to have a baby in a second, so we have a P parenthesis. The name of the, in, of the inner function, which was the outer, outer function, goes on the left, and then the value of the inner function now, which was the outer function before, goes into the parenthesis on the right, okay? Let's make the parenthesis smaller. This is square plus one. So the inner function is f. So put f of x here. And then what's the value of f of x? The square root of x. And that's uh, what you have. The final, that's your comp composition in reverse order. Uh, we can simplify it if we want. If we simplify this, it, it becomes. Uh, g composed with f of x equals x plus 1 because when you square the square root of, uh, when you square the square root, you, you cancel each other out. And those are the two formats for your results. Okay? So there you have it. All right, so for this one, we're going to label the outer and inner functions. Let's color code it. So we have, we're going to write y as f composed with g of x. equals the natural logarithm of the quantity um, 2x minus 3. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and write them down separately. So the alpha function f of x is the natural logarithm of x. Okay? This is the outer function, and it's logarithmic in nature. That's a family it belongs to. Okay? Logarithmic. Now, the inner function is g of x, which is 2x minus 1. I'm sorry, 2x minus 3. This is the inner. Start it with linear. Write that down. Let's go ahead and uh, carry out the reverse composition. So we're going to find, find, 
So we are, we are going to find G composed with F, okay? So G, uh, let me change the color. Um, G, uh, sorry, rather, G composed with F. Okay? So let's start by writing down what the outer function is. The outer function is the inner of the original. So G of X is 2X minus 3. I'm going to get it first. Move all the x's and replace them with parentheses. Okay? Now, what goes into the parentheses? The name of the inner function, which was the outer of the original f of x, and its value is um, the natural logarithm of x. Okay, so uh, the reverse composition is 2 ln x minus 3. That's your final answer. Let's go ahead and write them down. So outer function, f of x. Uh, let's rewrite it as uh, rewrite it as f of g of x. f of g of x is um, the natural logarithm of sine x. Okay. Um, so the outer function, f of x, is the natural logarithm of x. And the inner function, well, let's write down outer. This is outer, and it's logarithmic in nature. Okay? And then the inner function, g of x, is sine of x. This is the inner of the original. Trigonometric family, so let's write that down. This is this function belongs to the trigonometric family. Trigonometric. Okay, so now let's compose in the reverse order. So we're going to find uh, g composed with f of x. The inner function now becomes the outer, so the outer is g of x, which is sine x. Let's go ahead and get it prepped. G parentheses equals sine. Parenthesis. We're now going to input the name of the inner function, the outer of the original, into the inner of this one right now, okay? So the inner function will now be f of x, and its value is ln x. So that's your final answer, sine of the natural of the of x. But, um, Let's write it as f of g of x. f composed with g of x. I'll put it so it's easy to zoom in on the components. So that's sine of 3x minus 2. And it's cosine of what? 3x minus 2. Okay? So that's, that's it. Now, um, let's decompose the function. The outer function is f of x, which is sine x cosine x. This is outer, and it's trigonometric in nature. And then the inner function, g of x, is 3x minus 2. This is the inner function. So the inner function belongs to a linear family. Okay. Now we're going to find the reverse composition. Find um, uh, what is we're looking for? G composed with f of x. All right. So the the parent or the outer function is three x minus two. We get it correct. And we're going to put in the inner function. The inner function is the outer of the original, which is um, sine x cosine x. So f of x is the inner, and then it's going to be sine x cosine x. Okay? Let me make it a little bit bigger. That's a 3 minus 2. Sine x cosine x. So uh, g of f of x is 
3 sin x plus sin x minus 2. Alright, so there you have it. So for this one, the first thing I'm going to do is rewrite. Okay, we write it in such a way that it's easy to identify what the functions are. So I'm going to do a rewrite real quick. So when I rewrite, it's going to be y equals sine of x minus 3, the entire thin raised to the third power. So we have, we're going to have an outer, middle, and an inner function. So f composed with g composed with h of x is going to look like this. It's going to be the outermost function composed with the middle function composed with the innermost function. Okay, let's complete our grouping. Is right in here. Okay? Close. So we are decomposing them into the components. We have f of x. The outer function is the cubic function x to the third. Okay, this is the outer function. Outer, and it's uh, cubic in nature. Then what do we have next? We have g of x, sine x. This is a middle function, and it's trigonometric in nature. And then we have um, the innermost function, h of x, is x minus 3. This is the inner function, and it is linear in nature. That's the family that it belongs to. First is we're going to find uh, g of f, okay? So uh, um, g of x is sine x, and then let's get that one prepped, g parenthesis equals sine parenthesis. Into that goes f, okay? So what is f? x to the third power, that's the outermost function. So uh, f of x equals x to the third, okay? Um, let's go ahead and do that. So let's write out what h is. Um, h of x, now the outermost function is x minus 3, okay? So let's go ahead and get that prepped, all right? So let me put a line here so we don't get confused with what I'm doing. So h of x is that. Now let's get it prepped. We have h uh, parenthesis is equal to parenthesis minus 3. The name of the inner function is actually two functions. It's g of f. So h of g of f of x, right out of space there, um, is equal what? So you take the answer we got from composing G and F, and we'll plug it into H. So we'll put it in sine of x to the third. Like that. Now, there goes your final answer. So, yeah, let's, let's make it look pretty. So H, that's H of G of X, H of G of F of x is sine x to the third minus 3.